Ginger's super excited. We're gonna go play in the snow. It's April, there's no snow down where I live, but up in the mountains there's snow, so gotta get the trailer out. No snow yet, but it's up there somewhere. You just gotta go high enough. Oh, Ginger's getting excited. Way up in there. Cresting above the clouds, and still no snow, very little. I may have over uh, thought the amount of snow this year, this late. There's snow now, but not enough, not yet. We still got a ways to go. Well, we found the snowmobile guys, and we found road with snow. So, I guess we're all on tracks from here. We sunk it it pulled over to the bank and just sunk down and the problem with this stuff is it glues itself around the track and I don't even have enough torque in reverse to, to spin the tracks really they try I'm gonna end up breaking a track okay we're kind of free so seize the winch buried this back one I actually brought my chainsaw winch. I don't know if you guys remember the video on that. But I'm like, hey, let's just throw this in. Maybe we can do a video or something on it. Not intentional. I have an electric winch, but let's throw that on. Let's see if that can pull me. Uh, I don't know if it can just dead pull me without the assistance of this. So it's just me and the dog, and the dog doesn't know how to use the gas pedal yet. But let's try. We've got about 30 yards to right here. I'm going to double line pull it. Wow. Okay, now we just gotta hook it to there. With there's a cable down here. It goes on the back. Fire up the chainsaw and go. Come on, girl. Let's see. I got snow all over the plug. Okay, we dug out the tracks just a little bit.
It is impressive how much um, line that thing holds. It could probably even hold another 100 feet, but it has 200 feet on it, so double line, you can pull 100 feet. Because um, I pulled from here and then way up in front, up in the trees. I mean, it's a pretty impressive pull distance. Now we're to the elevation where no snow wants to stick anymore. Yeah, they're, they're managing the mud. Kind of stopped filming, I got demoralized, but I used that uh, chainsaw winch twice more. Once I got the whole right side stuck and sunk, just the right side sunk, I hooked to the top of the roll cage and to a tree straight sideways and I was able to tip it, tip it, tip it. I was never able to grab it completely because then this side started sinking, but enough to raise it up, you know, eight inches, pack snow under a little bit more, and then I was still kind of stuck, so I hooked it on the back, jammed the glove in it, and just pulled and finally got it out. Oh, two, I've been stuck for the last two and a half hours or so, so time to go home. And then, of course, I ran out of gas in it, so we, uh, we have regular gas and motor oil, so, eh. It's probably about a 16 to 1. I put it, I went heavy. Better to go heavy than light. So now we got some crappy two stroke that I'm never going to use. But it got us out.